Hey, uh, Pixelant, or anyone else from the subreddits, such as Game Dev. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use the unfolding engine in order to export its parallax data. Now, in order to that, there's this thing called create new game, and that's what we're going to use in order to do it. So, we have um, an add assets. Now, what the add assets is, is basically whether or not you want um, sprites that kind of look like the background already engaged. But for this, we're going to disable it. So, we're just going to call it um, parallax example and then we'll click extract create module so it's just placing down the module data now what is creating it it may take a while just give it a few minutes to just create the module all right and then there we go Now, if you see here, there's a brush called Static Placer. Now, the screen is quite small, and if it's quite too small for you, you can always double click on the top of the window, or uh, maximize, or even stretch on the outside to make it bigger. So, what you do is you click on the brush, go down to Static Placer, and then click on it, and then click onto the world. And then you have your statics. Now as you can see, the parallax is unenabled yet, so what you've got to do to enable the parallax is, is up here, you can just push forward or backwards. Now backwards is in the background, and then you can see here which layer it's on. Now we'll move, and now you can see that the parallaxes have been applied. Now for things that are positive on the layer, we'll put that in front. And look at that, a really impressive 2.5D effect. Now you may be wondering, how do I put it in my own statics? Well, you click on static, click add static, and you can see it's a blank static. So click load sprite, and then we'll load in a new sprite. In this case, I'll choose my own avatar. Now we have a very big picture of me. And we'll click go back, and because this is a um, a game engine, it also has collision data, so we'll add in load mask and click grab, grab mask from sprite. So go back and we'll name it Barch, Barch Boy Avatar and then give it a tag of test and then the tag too is just for multiple tags, test and then click save. So now we click more statics, and we can see that we have a new um, tag that we can click on, and look, there it is. So same thing as before, it's changing the different parallaxes, and look, parall instant parallaxes, it's very quick to produce. As well as this, we've got a weather module that can help um, see different effects that can be applied to different parallaxes, to give an example of what it may look like in your game. But in this case, we're just going to add a little bit of light fog. And it helps separate the different layers. So you can see as once you've got a few of these, you can create landscapes such as this. And which you can have multiple different images working together to create a very new image or landscape. And it creates um, it creates the effect of kind of a very lush, um, multi-dimensional, layered environment. So once you've just made your environment, you can click on um, the advanced functions, then click export parallax data. And then you can see here export as a dot .ini, as, a docs, as an XML file, or a dot .json. In this case, we're going to do a .ini to work with the example project that I made in GameMaker Studio 2. But it doesn't, like all these are valid and all these have the same uh, variable paths and same stats. So you save it in the place you want and click save. Alright, and then it should say successfully exported as there. Now to explain how the algorithm works for people who aren't using GameMaker Studio, you have to see that you need a way of implementing the variables. So in this case, in the .ini file, 
there's a line that says x equals, and then has in commas the um, zero. Now, if you have a dot JSON or dot XML or dot any importer, you automatically can probably find a library in your programming language that allows you to um, implement these variables. Now, the three key variables is the x, y, and parallax. And so, if you see in this formula here, what creates this parallax is that you have the origin of the x placement and the um, like the y origin, and then you have the offset. And then the offset is calculated through the getting where the camera is in the world, and then exporting, um, not exporting, multiplying the ratio of the parallax variable that's in the file. So in this case, in the dot any, we can see that the parallax here is, um, well, it's at the variable of 0 0.5. So that means if the camera moves um, like 50 pixels to the left, what happens is that you'll move at 0 0.25, which means it will move at half the speed. Now, when you have multiple dimensions of different ratios, it creates the effect of different, um, different objects in that space traveling at different speeds. So once you have multiple layers, you have um, ratios that might be 0 0.5 moving or 0 0.2, and then let's say um, negative one because it's in the front, you get this twisting effect of all these different um, objects moving at different speeds, thus creating the 3D illusion. And when you have used the unfolding engine, what they'll do is it'll automatically give you the ratios you need in order to create this illusion, so you don't manually have to type in for over like thousands of different sprites that you've made, um, the different um, ratios everything is. The unfolding engine is meant to be the perfect way to get, um, visualize what you're creating and then alter it, then export it, and then it's in your game. You don't have to worry about any of the mathematics, just the initial starting point, and um, this is it. For games that might be a Metrovania, you also have the option of having multiple cells. So the unfolding engine is really great for people who want to create um, open world games with um, cell based parallaxes. So if you see here that there's all this different exterior and interior, and if you click onto a new one, what will happen is that you have a new cell that you can draw in. So same thing as before where you can place down different parallaxes. So I've got it here, and then I click save, save cell, and then I move to the, the left. And then I do the. I want to place down some um, statics here. Then what happens is that I have the parallaxes on this cell, and then I have the parallaxes on the upper cell. And if you export all this data, what you can do is you can create a um, a multiple multiple cell your open world game quite easily that allows you to facilitate this 2.5D effect. So um, it will open the opportunity for you to be able to make these uh, huge kind of worlds with these beautiful landscapes.